in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I've returned to the story based game that features player choice, the consequences of all your game actions, and decisions back the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Yes, there. Oh, am I taking care of the dribble? Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Yeah, <laughs> I really don't know how to take care of plants. Ah. <sighs> Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. That's good. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Okay, no consequences on that one? Good. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Hmm. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Katie Bay Online News. Blackwell student attempts suicide on campus at Katie Bay, Oregon. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost shot on the roof of a campus dormitory today. Most of the students and faculty as started witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the student Kate Marsh, 18, have been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recording the event, which ended with an unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. Quick care for video footage and further details. Hmm. 
Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. That's I shouldn't a... sound so disappointed. <laughs> That's a lot of missing people. Dang. Missing persons list Arcadia Bay, Oregon. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of the following missing persons, please immediately contact the Arcadia Bay Police Department. Reach your number April 22nd, 2013. Wow. Elton Cassie missing since November 10th, 2001. Leslie Grayson missing since March 22nd, 1997. Winston Smith missing since June 8th, no. June 8th, 1984, Sunshine Ray, real name unknown, missing since December 14th, 1973. Wow. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Day Burbank and Marsh Taylor, Kristen Sinsiski, old soon, you are in our hearts. Victoria, Maribeth Chase, singing left to you, Kate. Evan Harris, thinking of you, Mark. Burlington. I love you, Katie. Come back to church soon. Alyssa Anderson, we're all behind you, Kate. Corny Wagner, hope you feel better. Father Lemma, Psalm 3418. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Zach Riggins, Blackwell, Bigfoot's promise to win the next game for you. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Yeah. Thomas Bunk Douglas Adams. Evan Harris, you actually made me proud to be at Blackwell. Bravo, Max. Bravo. Daniel DeCasto. Ed is una chica dura. <laughs> Warren Graham. Max Power. Hayden Jones. Epic. Brooke Scott. Watching you walk down from that roof with Kate was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Julie Watson. Way to make the headlines, Max. Dana Ward. You're here, Max. Thank you. Oh, man. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Hmm. Let's make sure nothing else. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. I wonder why indeed. Whew. All right. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. <laughs> Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Alright, to look at that. Is anything in drawer? <sighs> it's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. I think okay, someone's this is scary dark. Let there be... Light. Hmm. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Where do you go there I am? What about you? We'll wait for Kate. Rook. Oh mine. Do I have one? Yeah, I got one. What is it? I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Tiger, tiger, burning bright I in the forest of the night. Soon, what a mortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry, Lake for Kate Marsh. Hmm. <sighs> Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. I know, right? Jeez. So much hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Where is that? Where's that? Who said that? Waiting for you, Kate. How you doing? 
Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Oh, um, she was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. <sighs> why was she on the roof? So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hello? Hey, Dana. Better than... What? I knew she... Must be... Hmm... So... Me... Come on. So what it... You think? It's comp... I'm getting... What? Victoria... Not me. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. I'm much confused now. Where did I stop at? Oh, man. Um... I think this one? Something odd happened as if everything happening isn't bizarre, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson. And she ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, Oh, by the way, what's up with Kate? Like he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something. So what did he say to make her so upset? Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walk into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk. Unreal, asshole bookends. Kate Marsh almost killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof with the girls starting to jump. Every student and teacher was waiting her. Watching her, like it was a Black Hole Rooftops concert. So I actually jumped, but I was just about able to use my rewind to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I ever did, and somehow I stopped time completely. I made it to the roof, but again, my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try and talk her down on my own. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything. I tried to tell her. You see movies of people trying to talk somebody out to suicide, but it's very different when I'm on the one doing the talking. Um, I covered everything I could and Kate almost jumped anyway. Cliché and I, I told her how much her friends and family love her, even if they don't all show it now. Lo and behold, Kate stepped back from the ledge alive, almost cried in arms. I know this isn't about me though, I have to admit it was an amazing feeling to walk arm in arm with Kate from the rooftop outside the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police were watching us almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling out, Give it up for Max! And everybody started to clap and cheer. Talk about surreal. The people who ignored me and treated me like crap suddenly crushing on me. That might be the strangest thing that's happened to me this insane week. That made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her. Just to get in her smug face for enabling Kate's suicide attempt. Such cruel bullshit. Though to be fair, Victoria wasn't the only one that was responsible. Nathan Prescott seemed to have disappeared, which is probably a good thing. After all that, I still had to talk to the police and give a statement. It felt so weird to do since I've seen it in pretty much every police procedural show. I had to lie my ass off when he questioned me about the other students, because I just don't think the police are ever going to find out what happened. Yes, yeah, so this looks like a job for Supermax, right? Though, of course, I do love it when Chloe calls me that, even if I don't feel that every day here I crap and Kate down. Maybe it's wrong for me to think I have to feel anything, but grateful that Kate didn't jump. What was really odd was when all the students and faculty stopped surrounding me and Kate, then started patting our backs and shoulders like we were heroes. 
I wasn't sure how to respond considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because of everybody at school. But like I said, can't blame everybody and I still don't really know where to point on my fingers. The very best thing was that even though Kate was still in tears and confused, I definitely saw her smile. Once she realized how happy everybody was that she was alive, I smiled too. The police and paramedics swooped in and then Kate was covered in the blanket and gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at me like I was a hero. I guess they're used to saving people without applause. But if I'm super honest, it felt pretty cool. I got a hug from the whole school, so maybe Black Oak Academy isn't totally bad. It's not enough that Kate is alive, and though I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit, I started to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. I was besides to be in this, his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madison, and Mr. Jefferson, calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. I was quiet but giddy inside, just replying, just replaying in my head the moment when Kate stepped toward me with a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk, knowing he had a lot to do with Kate's suicide attempt. Thought about doing it, then flipping a quick rewind, but I knew that would be the start of a bad, dangerous habit. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what happened in the bathroom. He must have more shit on Nathan up because otherwise I doubt this would happen to a Prescott. That's some small justice for Kate. That'll be more if it's the last thing I do, which it could be if I'm not careful. At the ring grilled in the principal's den, I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. Such a sweetheart. Kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did. But I have to say it's better to be treated like a hero at school than like a twee loser. Still, a total war in the something ominous is happening in Blackwell Academy. Rachel, Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims. Not to mention me. I feel like I keep playing the amateur detective, which I could have let Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time. So if anything is the right time anymore. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched the solar eclipse that was not announced in the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? You got me, Max. Uh, different Chloe, something to show you. Um, things that I'm going to show over our Blackwell here. <laughs> I missed your voice. Uh, we're very proud, so at this moment, let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway. Okay, we'll love you, Maxine. Oh. Uh... I hope you didn't forget to water the yeah. <laughs> Max, we scars and just can't be so proud of you for seeing this girl. We want to know how you are, so please get in touch. We love you. Uh, who am I missing? Pierce my mouth. Warm. Yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof and make your superhero suit on the left. Lady pretty cool. I'd love to reward you with dinner and escape to a planet of the apes. No pressure, truly. Need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got this minute too, so it was a good day. I'll call you later. Hmm. Did I miss anything? Hope not. Another uh, thing I want to see are the pictures. I don't know what that is. This is disturbing. Yes, I have power, but Nathan is out of control. This is both sad and pathetic. Hmm. I think I agree with that one. Stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Ah. <laughs> Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. I think that's the picture. It looks like it. Ah, oh, no. It says it looks more like a gun. Just make sure. So much trouble. <laughs> Since I've crossed a line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. 
Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Well, research this day with a unique point of view. October 1st, 2013, Northern Day, Victoria Chase, right. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. I mean, Victoria, the Taylor, hey, sweet tea, what up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. Can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? Can't believe we all saw it live. It's like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious care for your cocktail. <laughs> drink to Kate. <laughs> what a trip that was today, seeing Max and Kate like that. I need a drink too. Let me know the time. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, <laughs> dudes. Nathan to Victoria. That Twimo Crackfield got me. Splendid, can you believe it? My dad owns the dorm where she plays with her selfies. Parents have lost their crap and are threatening me at the job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crack <laughs> Crackfield and Blackwell need to go down. And the end of the world party is on. You in? Are you kidding me? No way can Blackwell spend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kick kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble, and yes, the Witcher Club will be bringing the end of the world to black one no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. Yes. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Really? Welcome or dates. Cashmere sweater, short and delicate, $30. Hmm. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Ha. Huh. I think this is the picture uh, I need to get to. So where is it at? Here they are getting loaded with Satan. <sighs> oh, it's right there. Oh, let me take a picture of it though. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Hmm. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. Yeah, that's definitely the picture. So let me get it though. I will get it later. Nobody saw me? Right. Praying for a fast recovery. Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel like I'm doing a 
sneaking mission right now. Zip. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Okay, now he doesn't tell me when it's all done. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Why is this open? Box. Nothing here. Max. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Nothing but tools. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Hmm. Sip. Okay, nope, girl stuff. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So who does? You got me. Alright, I'm coming, Chloe. Yeah, that's broken, or I don't know what to do. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Principal uh, Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. That smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Miss <laughs> <coughs> Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Am I rewind time that I just go back inside the building?
Anybody out here? Booyah! Oof. Get it? Booyah. <sighs> like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Chaos theory. <laughs> Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Oof. <laughs> How about who? Oof. I feel like I should continue on with the cape, but I don't know. She's gonna jump again. It's up to you this time. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. So much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. Mm -hmm. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Uh, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... You screwed up. Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. 
Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out.